the Biden White House is now decided that they're going to combat Islamophobia. Worth noting, Jewish people represent 2% of the United States population and over half of all anti-Semitic, sorry, all ha- half of all hate crimes are now with Jews as the target. That is, just let me rephrase that. Jewish people represent roughly 2% of the United States population. And over half of all hate crimes are directed at Jewish people. That would, to me, suggest that anti-Semitism is a big issue in this country. Uh, And in the wake of 1,400 Jewish people being brutally murdered by Hamas, that would suggest to me the most dangerous, deadly day for Jewish people since the Holocaust, that this remains a major issue in the country and certainly in the world. If you look at what's happening in Europe, you look at the amount of anti-Jewish hate that is raining down all over the country. So if there were going to be anything that the Biden White House were to do in response to the brutal murder of 1,400 Jewish people who were all innocent by Hamas, which wants to wipe all Jewish people off the face of the earth, my thoughts would be, hey, maybe let's focus on giving Jewish people as much protection as possible, given that right now it appears that they are being targeted even at a level that exceeds the usual level of targeting of Jewish people, all right? Instead, the Biden White House said the real problem that we need to be concerned with right now is Islamophobia. Uh, And I read this. I've got it with me right now. I'm an old school guy. As you guys well know, I read print newspapers. Really good piece on the editorial page of today's, one, one of the editorial page, today's Wall Street Journal. It says, Islamophobia is a phony diagnosis, and it's written by Matthew Hennessy. Uh, and there are a couple of paragraphs I wanted to read. Um, it's rational to be afraid of Islamic terror. It's understandable to be angry about the World Trade Center, Bali, Madrid, London, Paris, the Boston Marathon, San Bernardino, Charlie Hebdo, the Manchester Arena, the Brussels Metro, the Orlando Nightclub, Salman Rushdie, the list goes on. It isn't wrong to hate the people who live stream the slaughter of entire families on October 7th. It isn't a phobia to abhor senseless death delivered in the name of God. It may even be laudable. I'm reading from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it's a powerful couple of paragraphs there from Matthew Hennessy, who, uh, let me make sure I give him credit, is the journal's deputy editorial features editor. Um, first of all, you should never judge someone based on their religion or their race, right? Because that is what identity politics does. I abhor identity politics. You should do your best to judge everyone as an individual, not as the identity they represent. Don't judge somebody based on their race, their gender, their ethnicity, even their political voting patterns, because people may surprise you uh, when you actually have face-to-face conversations with them. But it is truly the case that there is a desire to label people as extremists who are not actually extreme and pretend that actual danger should not be uh, called out as such. Um, And I look, Salon has an article up right now, and it says, MAGA and Christian nationalism, bigger threat to America than Hamas could ever be. I don't think anybody with a functional brain actually believes that. Look, to my knowledge, in my life, by and large, Christian and Jewish people and Buddhist people, but Christian and Jewish I know for sure because I live here in the United States, and Buddhist I believe too, I can't remember anybody of those faiths uh, ever slaughtering thousands of people in the name of their religion. 
Historically, yes, people killed because of religious issues all the time. The Muslim faith has a massive issue with the number of people who will kill innocents to this day in the present moment based on their religious beliefs. Jewish people do not, to my knowledge, in the present day, slaughter innocent people in the name of their religion. People say, well, they're... No, they're responding to a terror attack perpetrated by Hamas. Christians, to my knowledge, do not slaughter others based on their religion. This is not crazy to recognize. Now, don't attack anybody based on their religion or their race. I want all of you to be nonviolent. But as this is pointing out, Islamophobia is not a thing in the United States. There are occasional crazy people who behave crazily, and they should be condemned and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law when they do. But this is the Biden administration trying to play politics and refusing to call evil and terror what it is. There are not two sides to Israel versus Hamas. There is good and there is evil. What the Biden administration is trying to do is pretend that that distinction between good and evil does not exist. And that's why, in a totally tone-deaf way, as Jewish people all over America and all around the world are being targeted for violent attacks, the Biden administration is trying to pretend that Islamophobia is the issue. The Biden administration has labeled people who support Donald Trump as MAGA extremists. They won't even label Muslim terrorists as extremists in this country. If you voted for Donald Trump, you're an extremist, but not if you're willing to kill people based on your religion. This is what labeling does. It creates false narratives. Again, there is no equivalent to the World Trade Centers, Bali, Madrid, London, Paris, the Boston Marathon, San Bernardino, Charlie Hebdo, the Manchester Arena, the Brussels Metro, the Orlando Nightclub, Salman Rushdie, 9-11, October 7th. There is no other religion equivalent to those terror attacks that Muslim terrorists motivated by their Islamic faith have undertaken. It's important to call that out, and it's not wrong to ask what ideology is existing that is allowing that form of uh, terror to exist inside of the religion, not existing, to my knowledge, in any other religion that I see uh, yeah, that is practiced and embraced in the United States or around the world. Um, all right, I appreciate all of you. Uh, I am, uh, and by the way, just think about those uh, marches. There is no Jewish and Christian march equivalent to what we are seeing uh, support for Hamas and support for Palestine. People say, oh, Hamas and Palestine are different. Ah, they're pretty interconnected. All right? I don't want any innocent person to die, but the moment that Hamas decided to attack Israel, they lost the ability to, in my opinion, try to argue for a ceasefire or for a lack of terror attacks, uh, a response to that terror attack. My name is Clay Travis. I'm firmly on the side of good as opposed to evil. How many on the left in this country can say the same? Israel deserves the right to do whatever is necessary to eradicate Hamas's ability to ever attack and kill innocent people ever again. Uh, just like we tried to do to Al-Qaeda and to ISIS and to other terror groups that have similarly attacked us, Israel has the right to defend itself as well.